Hi, let's start this video by making a swept part. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to sweep onto an existing part. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a quick sketch of just a rectangular plate. And we'll throw in some dimensions here just to give ourselves some scale. How about 400 by 225. We'll say that we're done. And let's extrude this part. How about you come up to the dashboard of uh, about 50. And we'll say that we're done. I'm going to hide my datum planes on my coordinate system. And now what we're going to do is we are going to utilize a sweep. We're going to and we're going to make a uh, serpentine pattern uh, on the top surface of this sweep of this uh, rectangular plate. So coming up here to the insert menu, click on insert, sweep, and we're going to make a protrusion. So this brings up the protrusion sweep uh, dialog window and it, it's going to have us define two things, a trajectory that the section is going to be swept along and the section itself. So we have two options, we can either select a trajectory that would have already been drawn or sketch a trajectory and that's what we're going to do here. So we'll click Sketch Trajectory, and the menu manager is coming up asking us what type of plane we want to sketch on. Well, we have an existing plane on the top of our plate here, so we're going to select that, and we're going to accept the default direction for viewing, and we'll accept the de default sketch view as well. You can see that it creates two reference lines and brings up the drawing menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a very relatively um, simple pattern here. I'm going to allow myself to snap to this reference, draw a horizontal line. I'm going to come over here to the um, arc tool and select and select and drag my mouse until I see the T show up for the tangent line. I'll put in another horizontal line and Again, click on the ellipse tool or the arc tool. Click and click and drag over here until I see my tangent line show up. And we'll do it one more time. Going to let that uh, constraint catch over here. Where is it now? There it is. And I'll use the arc tool one more time. Click, click, drag out to my tangent shows up. And lastly, I'm going to come across and bring my line back to the part. And then middle click to end the drawing tool. Let's put some dimensions in here. We'll make this one 25. We'll make that 25 as well. Let's make the total distance here 330. And I guess we can start this one at about 100. 85 and we can make this distance here 60 and again I want to make sure that my all my arcs are the same just for consistency here and once we've defined this this is now our new our uh, going to be our trajectory we'll say that we're done and it's going to come up here and what's kind of a funny thing with ProE is that my trajectory goes away for a while and it comes up here, it knows that my trajectory is not a closed loop, so it, it wants to verify that I do indeed want free ends, and I do. So I'm going to say that I'm done. And you can see that it draws cross hatches, or it gives me two references at the beginning of the trajectory. You see that this is where my sketch is going to begin, right at this location. So I'm going to use like the icon up here in the upper right hand corner to again view that sketch plane. And why don't we just make a relatively simple object? How about just a rectangle? And let's take a look at it. Let's throw some dimensions onto it. So we can make it about 30 high. And I guess about 21 wide. And it's snapped to the midpoint, so it's going to be on either side of my sweep. Good enough for <coughs> a simple object. And we'll say that we're done. And again, <laughs> uh, the pr 
Pro E removes everything, but you notice up here in the right hand and the upper left hand corner, it says all elements have been defined. So at this point, we can just say OK. And there is our sweep. So now what I want to do, just to show that we can do it, we can come in here under protrusion. That's what it's names the sweep as. And we can right click and like with most things in Pro E, we can edit the definition and we can go back and click on the trajectory and say define or in this case we redefine it so we have the option to modify or to redo it completely let's just modify it and why don't we make this distance 195 we're just going to make slight modifications and we can make this distance here let's make just that loop 35 and good enough for what we want to do. We'll say come down here to the check mark and we'll say that we're done and we'll say OK. And here's our new section. <coughs> Let's see what we have. And now of course we can also come through and go under protrusion, edit the definition, and we can change the section. So we can click on section and define and it brings me back to my section. So let's say we want to make it a, a triangular section. So we can click and click over here and make another line. And we can trim out or actually just delete these lines. So now we have a completely new section. And we'll say that we're done by clicking the check mark. And we'll say OK. And there we have a swept, uh, a, a sweep that is a, a protrusion where it creates new material.